okay so in this video now we will go ahead and set up our player okay so for example let's select this location right here we will set up our player so first of all let's go ahead and create a empty game object okay let's name this as player then right here let's add a character controller and make sure that you turn on the gizmos okay and when you do that now let's move this to the ground okay so we need to move it right here to the ground like this okay make sure that the character controller is touching the ground like that after this what we can do now is to add the first person hands so let's start from the first one just simply drag and drop it inside the player like that then we need to add the other one then the third one whoops let me delete that and drag and drop it again okay then we have the m82 so drag and drop that as well okay so once you do this now what i want you to do is to select all of these weapons okay and let's move it at the top So if I select all of them again and let's move it somewhere right here. If we select the player again, okay, I think it looks good like this. Okay, remove this Y value, set it to zero and actually press control Z, make this as one okay so now this will be our player okay make sure that they are inside the character controller like this okay now we need to add our camera in order to show the player hands in the game view so what we will do uh, inside our player we will create a camera like this okay let's move this camera right here okay so as you can see they are all uh, all the hands so what i will do i will deactivate the three hands just leave this one and now let's set it up you can notice the player hands right here okay so i will move it to the left side like this and then zoom in a little bit after this let's select the first weapon right there in the hierarchy and also right here select the first weapon folder and let's try and drop this animator right there okay this is the animator let's open it up okay here it is now if we go inside the source and expand this you will find all of the animation in here okay so let's find the idle animation okay let's drag and drop it in here so that we can see how does it looks okay so now if we play the game okay so this is our view we need to change the camera position so if we select the camera let's move it a little bit right here and also if we select the camera make sure that you actually let me stop the game select the camera and make this clip in planes near as 0 0.01 so that the player hands don't get cut off okay now let's play the game again 
okay so here is now the player if we click on scene view now if we select the camera okay so now we can see the whole player right here okay we need to set up the camera like this okay as you can see let's move it a little bit up here okay i think it looks good like this okay so now before stopping the game make sure that you click on the camera again and copy the component okay i actually copied two times just to make sure that it get copied then close the game select the camera again and click on paste values that is it if we play it again now okay so now as you can see it is already set up in that position okay so the camera is set up now let's check the other rifles let's check now the second rifle let's play the game actually but before playing the game let's select the second rifle again and make sure that you add the animator to it okay it's on animator then go inside the source and inside the source make sure that you find the idle animation okay this idle animation click on animator again actually select the second rifle so that it shows the animator of the second rifle then let's search for it again okay this one it has actually two idle animation the first one is without the suppressor and the scope i think and then the first one is with the scope and suppressor so we will use this one so just simply drag and drop it let's again now play the game okay so as you can see this one is looking good as well let's stop the game and let's do the same for the third one now just simply activate it first of all then go inside that rifle folder and drag and drop the animator okay the reason i have created these animators already so that you guys don't get confused okay i have also named them as same as the rifle name okay so once you add that click on animator set it up like this go inside the source and add the where it is idle right here just drag and drop it let's actually do it for the fourth one as well and then we will test it at the same time okay so select the fourth rifle folder drag and drop the animator click on animator set it up like this and then just simply click on source select the idle animation right here okay that is it now click on game let's deactivate the fourth one and let's activate the third one let's play the game okay so the third one is also looking good let's deactivate it let's activate the fourth one now and as you can see the fourth one is looking good as well okay so all of our rifles are looking good and our player is set up now the next thing which we will be doing is to add some player movement okay so we will do the player movement in the next video since this video already became a little bit lengthy